there's this concept that data is the backbone of AI, or you need a data strategy uh, first before you can have an AI strategy. So what is M Science's perspective on AI going forward? So the way I look at it, I'm looking at it as three buckets, right? So the first thing is you need data. And uh, from a data perspective, I think we've done a lot of work in getting different kinds of data sets, not just in the US, but from a global perspective as well. Starting to see data proliferation in outside of the US, like UK and Asia back especially. So we've done a good job of curating data assets across the globe. And then second thing is, you know, technology. We've been using ML for data tagging for several years now. But thanks to the big tech, we have a lot of tools to implement AI and to play with AI. There's a lot that we don't know about AI. Uh, and AI is here to stay. And if you're not playing with it right now, then you're going to be left behind. And what uh, has uh, put us in the forefront, you know, we've already created analyst curated clean data feeds. And a lot of companies are sitting on data which is not clean. And it's going to be so hard for them to like clean the data and make the data usable. I think. At M Science, we've done a really good job of creating those, you know, clean data feeds, which is pretty much going to be the backbone of AI. So we have a strategy in place. You know, uh, I think going into 25, we're going to be implementing these strategies, and we're going to figure out a way to generate revenue from those strategies. And I think that's what you're going to see going into 25, 26. And thanks to the Googles and the Open AIs and the Microsofts of the world, they're building all of the tools. They're giving us, you know, great uh, reasons to like. You learn from them, and I think we're going to learn, we're going to adapt, but I feel like we're in a really good position to move forward.